Hey, North Kids, it's Miss Deborah. We have a story about David again today, and I'm so glad you joined me. It is going to be so amazing. I love our God's big stories. Well, today we're going to learn how David protects the sheep. I brought me some sheep. You know what? God used David to do big things. He was a shepherd, and his job as a shepherd was he had a staff, and he would watch over the sheep, and whenever a lion would come to get the sheep, he would take the staff and take the lion away and protect the sheep. God had him do great things, even when nobody was looking. So kids, I want you to know that you can do big and great things for God when no one's looking. Do you know what sheep say? Bah. Everybody say, bah. Let's remember our memory verse. It says, be strong and courageous and don't be afraid for the Lord your God is with you and he's going to help you do it. It says that in Deuteronomy 31, 6. So kids, I want you when no one is looking and I know you're not watching the sheep, but when no one's looking and you're doing something and you just do it for God, God is going to bless you so because you're not doing it for the wrong reasons. You're doing it for the right reasons. So do something big again. I'm going to ask you a question. Who made you to do big things? Oh, I heard you. God made you to do big, big, courageous, strong things. So think of something big and courageous you can do this week. Bye, kids. See you next week.
friends, it's me, Super Poppy. Check out my new cape. When I'm Super Kid, I can do amazing things. Like, I went to my aunt's house last week and she lives a whole three hours away. That's super far. My aunt was making dinner for the whole family. But while she was cooking, I heard someone who needed help. It was my little cousin. So I put on my super cape and dashed to the scene. First, I sing him a song to make him happy. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. After that, I played a really cool game with him. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Oh, and I could tell he was getting a little sleepy, so I gave him his favorite passy. Here you go. And before my aunt was finished making dinner, my cousin was fast asleep. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Took a long trip, did you? Hey, Ollie. My aunt lives so far away, but I got to help my baby cousin. It was so fun. I'm glad you could go there. Oh, you can be super anywhere. It's true. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Sit. Beg. <laughs> Dance. <laughs> Good job, Stormy Jane. You can take a break and go get yourself a treat. <laughs> oh, hi, friends. I'm Carrie the Dog Walker. It's nice to see you. I was just finishing up a little doggy training session with my best dog, Stormy Jane. She's learning to do so many big things. In fact, there's a great story in the Bible about someone who did a really big thing. His name was David, and he was a shepherd who took care of his father's sheep. Here they come. David watched over them day and night. He made sure they had green grass to eat and clean water to drink. And he watched over them and kept them safe. But one day, while the sheep were asleep, a big lion came near them. <laughs> Stormy Jane, are you pretending to be a lion? You're always trying to get in the story, but this one's not for you. Silly dog. No, the big animal that came near the sheep was a real lion. Can you pretend to be a lion and roar with me? On the count of three, let's hear your roar. Ready? One, two, three. Roar! Oh, wow, great job. Well, the lion snuck up to the sheep and took one away in his mouth. David stood up. He knew he needed to rescue the sheep, but that was a big job. He was far away in a really big field all alone. But David knew he wasn't really alone. God was with him and made him to do big things. And that gave David the courage to save the sheep. God helped David be strong and brave. David ran to the lion and saved the sheep. Yay, David! The Bible teaches us that we can be strong and courageous because God is with us. God was with David and God made David to do big things like save the sheep. God is with us and he made us to do big things too. He is with us at the park, on the playground, at night when we go to sleep. No matter where we are, we can remember that God is with us and made us to do big things. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God was with David in the field, and he is with us everywhere we go, too.
Thanks, Sally. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God was with David and helped him do big things even out in the field. And God could help me to do things anywhere too. I think I got this story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm so glad God was with me at my aunt's house far away so I could help my baby cousin. Whatever the day brings, God made us to do big things. See you later, super friends. Here I go. with you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6